gani ukiandamana ufunje mali ya mwenzako kwa hivyo tusiishije tuka, tukafanya maandamano yaonekana kama ni shetani mkubwa hapana si shetani mkubwa maandamano sisi wa Kenya tulipigia kura tukasema iwekwe kwa katiba eh na kwa sababu hiyo kwa sababu hiyo mnasikia sababu hiyo watu wanapoandamana watu wanapoandamana ile tugefenya kama wa Kenya kama tunataka kusaidia inji mnasikia kama tunataka kusaidia inji ni kuulisa ni nini watu wanaandamana na your excellency kwa sababu you are the second in command i must say hii jobo tumetengeneza the task force ile 77 please kama tunataka kusaidia inji au watu tuwapatie nafasi wafanye kazi yao wakiongea bila kupishana na watengeneze kitu mzuri ya inji utaona mtu amekanyaga kwa barabara lakini kama wataenda mchezo cheso basi maandamano itakuwa ni lele, ni lazima tukubaliane watu waendelea kuandamana na hiyo ni right yetu hatutakuwa tunafanya makosa ni lazima tuongee ukweli ile ingine your excellence because you are here and i'm sure your mps might not be able to tell you the truth mimi nina phd economics my phd is in economics Ukiuliza waziri amesema mimi ni mtu wa mahesabu na ukweli mahesabu na, na, na mimi na mathematics one thing. Ameniambia ile hesabu niliweza kupata kukosa kidogo ni hesabu ya kutoingia kwanza, Kenya kwanza. Na hiyo nakubali. Hiyo hesabu hiyo hiyo si kupata. Lakini ukweli your excellence. Na ni vizuri tuambie wakubwa ukweli. Ndio tusaidie inchi. Your excellence ukiangalia finance bill. Mimi nimekaa mbunge miaka kumi na moja. Sijai kuona finance bill ingine yenye na upishi kama hii ya mwaka huu wa 2030 2023 For the last 11 years I've been in parliament I've never seen it And the question I ask myself is why this resistance why Unajua sisi wakamba tuk resist huku is expected as I said earlier sana sana tuna a lot of shares kwa upande wa siasa lakini ukiangalia register ya taxpayers your excellency wakamba tumejaa huko Ama na mnakani wakamba Tuwe bako tie. Alama kwa zetu bako tie kwa kwetu mwana mwenyambozu. We pay you taxes. Na ndio tunasema kwa sababu tunalipa tax na hii bill ikipita tutaendelea kulipa tax. We must get it right. How do we get it right? You are saying there are only two controversial things. Only two. Na kama hiyo mgaweza na ni hata lazima tushukuru rais. Jana nilisikia ile ilikuwa ya vijana ile digital creation rais amewaondolea. That's what we want to see. We want flexibility in terms of matters finance so that ukiona kitu nafinya watu wako sana unaondoa. And your excellence you are you are no one musomi. Na kwa sababu huyo musomi mimi wale tumesoma economics the basic principle is that no country in the world has ever developed by taxing people beyond their capacity to pay. No country in the world. None. And you must say the truth. So kwa sababu unajua tax ni process tu. At the end of the day ni pesa kwa mesa. Ile watafanya kazi nayo. At the same time pesa ni ya taxpayer. Sisi tunalipa, tunapea RGG na boss wanatumia kulingana na manifesto ya Kenya kwanza. So the money belongs to the taxpayer. And because that's the case, I want to appeal to you. Madam Deputy President ukikutana na rais jioni mwangalie two things mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16% i'm now talking as an economist sawa hii mambo ya siasa hii ni kitu nilianza juzi juzi sasa hiyo hii ndio ninakulanga hii hii naongea juu yake mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16 please let's sort it out as Kenyans and look at that proposal tuulizane hii ilikuwa inatupea pesa ngapi kwa mfuko wa serikali is there an alternative way of raising the same amount and if you need that alternative way i'll be there for consultation for the sake of my country the other thing i need us to talk about your excellency hii mambo ya nyumba hii mambo ya nyumba unasikia mbaya akisema huyu huyu akipigia hiyo kitu next week atafutwa na watu wa kitu huyu utamuona tena atafutwa waje nikwambie kweli atafutwa kwa hivyo ili ili tuweze tu, tu, ku, ku, ku take care of our leaders wasiwe na shida. Can we get to a round table your excellency? Tuangalie hii 3% housing levy.
kila mkenya anataka house and i, I don't know, even mean nataka nyumba additional i have one i don't mind an additional one but can we make sure that we get this house in a way that we don't really arm our people and i want to tell you your excellency once you get those two right utasikia hata mbunge utakisikia maneno lakini kama itakaa vile mekaza hii your excellency wengine lazima tutatoa suwari kwa mbunge tukisema no si lazima tusema kweli Hey, come and take a villa. Make a means I don't pretend myself. If it will be like it is, Kura ya makali wa amulu itakuwa ambik. No, that can be reported in Kenya. For those two, like this, I'll be lying. I have no problem. Now, when I enjoy me, I could do it. I'm fine. I'm going to go away. Now, court is under the police. When I scared to young man by a cessation, we'll scare last weekend. It's not a secret. We go to the court. We go to the court. We go to the kama sisi kama wa Kenya tutajisikia ni wa Kenya tutakata hii inji mara mbili tulisema namna hiyo ni lazima tuongee kweli na kwa sababu watu wanaongea hivyo ni kwa sababu ya kwamba wanaona kama wataanza kuwa wanatengwa sio sio because we want it we gave reasons we must look at the context so we want a united country where when we pay our taxes we get value for taxes and on that note your excellency sisi watu wa kitui nimeshukuru wewe na nikashukuru mheshimiwa kwa ile barabara nataka kibwesi kwenda mwingi ya lami. Na tukasema ni asante. Tuwapigie makofi kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tumepata hiyo barabara. Na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu sasa hivi your excellency kwenda Mombasa yule need 4 hours nimeland kwa kwa Mombasa na nimeanza kuswim. 4 hours. But your excellency there are two things other singers in that road. Na sisi kama viongozi wa sehemu hii pamoja na mheshimiwa Mbai because wa sehemu hii watu wetu wali walitoa mashamba yao your excellency hawanja ikuwa compensated at all at all nataka kuanza kurudi nyumbani excellence kwa ndege 